in fact, if you want to move forward slightly, I won't have to shout so much and we'll let people go along the path as well. They're all looking very confused, these folks. <laughs> uh, listen, thank you very, very much for coming along. And we've, I won't go and list all the notable dignitaries here. So thank you all for coming along. I'm, I'm very, very pleased. Um, we last did this um, uh, walk about 10 years ago and uh, it was very successful then. And it seems that the uh, situation in the world is no better. So I think it's a great time to um, start this walk over again. Just, if nothing more, just to get people together in a friendly way. One of the um, writings of the Baha'i Faith is that we must consort with people of all religions with us in a friendliness and fellowship. So this is exactly what it is. No better way than to just walk. You can be side to side with people and have a chat with them. You all know everybody's name because you've all got a label on. So there is no excuse whatsoever. Um, I'm very grateful for all the various uh, faith communities, the Muslims, the Sikhs, uh, the Hindus, I think, are busy with other uh, developments in town, but we'll go past where they have a, a, a centre there and then finally end up at St Nick's Church. And thank you very much for accommodating us there. We have also invited all other groups um, from in town. So whoever turns up, absolutely fine. So the first port of call will be the mosque, which is in um, Frank Street over this way. We're going to walk across here over the little bridge through the park and across Coton Road. Um, I don't think there's much else I need to say. Oh, we must have a photograph of everybody. And um, my good friend here, George, just twisted my arm. We were going to start at the Baha'i tree over there. That tree we planted as a Baha'i community about 40 years ago, and it's still standing. And I hope the council aren't going to pull it down when they develop, I say develop, and knock down all the area around here uh, so I think the tree will survive which will be nice but this is the um, station if you like of the Baha'is we don't we have a small Baha'i community in Nuneaton of about 20 or 30 people and uh, we meet in other people's houses so we don't have a centre here yet but that's the only thing we can mark the places with and that's why we're here but um, George from Leicester he had noted that uh, he was rather impressed with the George Eliot um, monument here. So he says, oh, could you not gather around this to have the photograph? Uh, go on then, George, let's do it. The big advantage of walking shoulder to shoulder is that it enables you to have very interesting conversations. <laughs> So many people from different backgrounds were able to get to know each other. We made our way through Riversley Park and then crossed over Coton Road. Then turned down this footpath to make our way towards Edward Street. And thankfully, the PCSOs helped us across the road. It's the only reason I invited the police to get us across the road. We then entered uh, Frank Street and turned to visit the Nuneaton Mosque. The dress code here was for everybody to take their shoes off and ladies to cover their heads. One or two people have never been in a mosque, let alone this one, so it's a great opportunity. We then made our way to Marlborough Road, just around the corner, to visit the Sikh Gurdwara. After the usual wonderful hospitality of the Sikhs with food and drink, we entered the prayer hall where everybody needed to cover their heads and take their shoes off. We then headed off across Queen's Road and then into the park behind the Abbey Theatre to make our way onto Abbey Street. Here we paused by the 
Hindu Samaj to have a photograph and then moved on towards the town centre and onto St Nicholas Church. So come on. Say hello Tony. Here we are. It's the walk. Here we are passing Nuneaton Town Hall, making our way to St Nicholas Church, Vicarage Street, where we had a very warm welcome by one of our walkers, that is the Reverend Chris Routledge. <laughs> This church East 11.55. Could well be earlier. We don't, we don't know. The, if you look at the little banner at the back. This is inherited knowledge. I've had to find it out from someone else. So <laughs> I, uh, we need to test it with, uh, with history back. But we think that possibly there was a, a, um, a man in the church here before the Doomsday, but it's not in Doomsday book. So uh, 1086. Nuneaton is not called Nuneaton. It was called Eaton in those days. Uh, and uh, the nuns came later. And they... Uh, there was no mention of a priest uh, which would normally be mentioned in Doomsday. Weddington is in Doomsday, that was my other church. Then we left St Nicholas Church and made our way across the road into Riversley Park to go to the Peace Avenue. And I think this is a very fitting place to finish our walk of faith. And here we have the plaque which explains what this um, Peace Avenue is all about. This sign says that the Peace Avenue was planted in 1995 to mark the 50 years since the end of World War II. It was purchased by public subscription as part of the appeal of the Mayor of Nuneaton at the time, Councillor Don Jakes. It's the one you were talking about. Friends, the, the, the quest of our pilgrimage. <laughs> this is it, this lump of rock. Do you know how many times I've passed this place? I know, I that's... <laughs> Let me finish with two quotes, the first one from the Bible. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said to them, every kingdom divided against itself will become desolate, and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. Matthew chapter 12 verse 25 and second from the Baha'i writings the well-being of mankind its peace and security are unattainable unless and until its unity is firmly established Baha'u'llah